Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your favorite host, James. Today, we are going to introduce a sensational tool that I've been using for a while. That is the App Launchpad. If you are a UX designer just like me, or if you are an independent developer for iOS, you might be facing these questions. When you upload your application, you might need to upload the screenshots, right? And big company like Google, like Facebook, they have very nice screenshots. Not only the product screenshots, but also they treat it like another way to promote their product, right? But if you spend hours and hours on screenshots, it will be a waste of time, right? You might need extra budget for designers to design the screenshots, put the nice text and a nice graphic on it, right? You can have the professional level screenshots in minutes. Okay, enough for the talking. Let's do some demonstration. Let's go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your favorite host, James. If you are familiar with my channel, you must know that I've been working on several web coding projects. I want to upload my projects to iOS platform and uh, start to earn money. This is not secret, right? But I have a problem here. Can anyone help me? So this is the back end of the App Store Connect page. And we need to update the screenshots. What is screenshots? In fact, screenshots on iOS platform is really a problem. For example, this is a YouTube page on App Store and you can find that screenshots is not only screenshots. They also is a way to promote your app. And this is the screenshots of the TikTok. They looked good, right? Like what I said before, screenshots is not only a screenshot. This is a way to let your users know that what inside of your app and what they can get and even the taste of the developer. And as an independent developer, I really cannot afford the money to hire a designer, right? Right now, the new policy of Apple is that you, you cannot only upload the screenshots of your mobile phone, but also you need to upload several Several screenshots from your iPad. Not mention if your app has an Android version, that will be a new problem because Android has a lot of stores, not only one, but many. And you need to change your screenshot size uh, as per ratio again and again. It's really annoying. Is there any way to design those screenshots easily? Today, let me introduce one of my secret weapons that is App Launch Pad. Okay, let's go. Remember the domain is theapplaunchpad.com and when you're landing here don't forget to scroll down a little bit to get uh, full introductions so basically this is a tool designed for all the developers and the designers you can easily design amazing screenshots for your applications on mobile and also on ipad on ios and also on android and uh, you can find a lot of inspirations in this website that is amazing right you can change the background you can change the text easily it's it is so easy for you. You don't need to know anything about the design and you can design amazing screenshots. Or let's call it resources for developers. All right, you want to see me to demonstrate it? Okay, let's click this log in button. Ooh, we can log in by Google account, which is good. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are set in the homepage of the, the launch pad and you have two tabs. One is App Store screenshots and another is mockups. So which means you can not only generate uh, App Store screenshots, but also you can create a mockups for your work. Maybe you want to display it in your LinkedIn or uh, Instagram or Behance, anywhere you name it, and you can use it to easily create an amazing mockup. Okay, back home, and uh, let's go back to App Store screenshots. And here we have different devices. So for example, this is all the screenshots for iPhone. That is amazing and some of them are really nice. I mean, really, really nice. I think they are designed by a very mature designer. I really love to meet them and uh, they are, their work is amazing. And I can say my app will benefit from it a lot. And this is not just like dozens, it's like hundreds. You can find the templates that no one used and you can be very unique with it. 
And don't forget we can replace all the screens inside. And also you can find a lot of the screenshots for iPads, which is what we need. And also Android phone, we also have Android phone. And if your target device is not in the list, more screenshot sizes and create a new file. Or you can click here, customize the size. Okay, no more crap, let's create one. Maybe this one, I love this one. How many screenshots can we upload to the App Store? I think the number is within 10 screenshots and no less than three screenshots. Okay, let's go back to Figma. If you are a developer, you can use a simulator to screenshot the actual apps. But if you are a designer, you can upload your designs. Let's pick up some key screens of our app. First, I pick up one of the pre-login. If your designs are from Figma, remember to export the 3x resources and click the export. And after that, go back to the app launch pad and uh, click here. Click upload, select your design, then click here and it's down. Let's do the same because it's in the separate pages. So you need to upload it twice. Click here to replace the original designs. And now let's introduce how to change the sequence of the screenshots. You can click here to move this screen left or right, like this, like this. You can delete it or you can duplicate it and you can create a new one like this. Plus, you have 3D assets and more than 10,000 graphic assets. How to use it? Let me demonstrate. If you are making a new one, you can click the elements and you can find the mockups from here. For example, like this one. And then you can change the aspect ratio and change the screens inside, change the background a little bit. That is so cool and it's so easy. You can delete it if you want. And for the contents, you can easily change it as well. Double click just like other software. Everything is editable. Even the background, you can easily change it. Also, you can change it to gradient or images. And we have very nice presets. And after everything is set, and you can change the order by vertically or hierarchically. And you can click here to quickly change all the colors inside of our designs. And here you can zoom in, zoom out. After that, you can click this button, download the whole thing. You have two options. One is JPEG, another is PNG. I think it's better go with the JPEG. So click here and let's go back to developer.apple.com. And you can click here, choose file to upload all our designs into our screenshots. Then ask for review by Apple. After one or two days, your app will be online. I found another very useful functionality that is the translations. So you are easily to translate your screenshots from different languages. Just choose your language and click the translate. See, now we have a French version of our screenshots. It's so cool. And you can find all your saved designs by click this button. You can rename it or you can delete it or you can clone it. All right, so much for today. I hope you like this tool and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment zone. I will reply you and I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye. Congratulations on watching to the end. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss out on more great contents. I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye.